Hello everyone, Larry Lavrenci for Regimoku.co and ForexTrading.tv with a daily analysis for the Euro US dollar FX for the trading day ending Wednesday, December 4th, 2013. Well, a uh, continuation of the downtrend today. For the previous day's trading, we had a lower high and a lower low. Today's trading, we have in bar chart terms an inside day. That's where you have a lower high, but a higher low, and uh, therefore it doesn't change the previous trend, which was to the downside. For the second consecutive trading day, however, even though the trend is down, we have the buyers closing with control of the market by closing up towards the highs. And this suggests that the buyers may be attempting to build some momentum, but if we look at the size of the white body candle today compared to the previous day's trading, it does suggest that in net terms a lot of the momentum that the buyers attempted to build for the previous day's trading has evaporated and does raise some doubt about whether the market will be able to close up above the important 136 level of resistance and how important that resistance is if we look for the past one two three four five six consecutive trading days price action has tested above there and been rejected from there so it is a very very important level to this market now having said that however if the market does break out and close up above that 136 level we are still trading within the cloud so we do have potential resistance at the 136.45 level and then above to the top of the cloud and at the moment that uh, will be around the 136.80 level roughly and uh, that area will come down in the next couple of trading days to meet the 136.45 level strengthening the resistance around there if we do see that breakout so still no resolution of this picture in the longer term time frame and uh, uh, we are really waiting for a breakout out of the cloud to give us a better picture of, uh, of a direction in a longer term time frame. The market is however trading above both the Kijun Sen and the Tengen Sen giving us a bullish market in the medium and fast term time frame so that's important and is suggesting that that breakout may be to the upside but the buyers will have to be strong to close up above that level and we do want to see follow through above that 136 if we are going to see higher levels. Now by the same token we have that strong area of uh, resistance overhead at 136 and even back here we can see where price action was rejected from there. But the market also found support at the 135.20 level for the past three consecutive trading days. So that suggests that the market may find uh, that a very tough area to break out to the downside if we do see uh, some uh, bearish activity in this market and that's something that we're not seeing at the moment. We also have the Kijun Sen and the Tenkan Sen trading between the 135.60 and 135.20 level so very very strong support down below and much stronger than the 136 level although the amount of times that the 136 level has been tested does suggest that that is very strong as well. Now just an important thing to watch here with the uh, Fibonacci uh, extension, we're examining the relationship of this current first time frame downtrend that the market's in to the previous time the market and the immediate previous time the market was trending down. And here again for the third consecutive trading day we've seen the market rejected in a fairly bullish manner from below the 50% level and that does suggest a likelihood of a change of trend but we do require confirmation we're looking for a candle with a higher high and a higher low and obviously uh, what we're looking for is the break above this 136 area which by the way extends up to this 136.21 level the Fibonacci retracement technique and we're looking at the retracement of this first time frame upswing does also uh, reinforce what we're seeing with the other Fibonacci technique and it suggests that the 38.2% level here at 135.36 is very very solid support and for the third consecutive trading day rejected from that area suggesting a possibility of a change of trend to the upside but once again hinging on the breakout up above that zone from 136 up to 136.21 so moving forward in this market obviously the 136 level and just above is crucial to this market moving higher but also to the downside we have that strong support down below not really a market that's very good trading at the moment um, personally I want to see resolution of the market out of the cloud I want to see a breakout either above or below the cloud to give us a lot more confidence in, in a clearer direction for this market in big picture terms and then uh, one could trade in line with that bigger bigger picture depending on your time frame but uh, really a market that's congesting at the moment between very solid overhead resistance and very solid support